In real life, when two people are talking, they often don't finish their thoughts. Instead, they might trail off or interrupt the other person or complete the other person's sentence. In screenplay dialogue, there's a couple ways to show when this is happening, mostly dots, dashes, and parentheticals. Let's take a look at the three options and see which one's right for which situation. Let's start with the most basic case where a character just leaves a thought unfinished. That's an ellipsis, so three dots. Let's look at some sample dialogue here. Manu says, I can't believe she's gone, I just... His eyes well up with tears. We'll find her, I promise. So here, Manu didn't know what he was going to say next. He just lets the sentence trail off. So Tal is not interrupting him. She's just, you know, responding to what's going on in the scene. So that's three dots, and they really are three dots. This is important. Sometimes a computer will try to compress those down to a single character that's three dots long. Don't let it do that. You really want three separate dots for a screenplay. Now here, again, Manu is trailing off but sometimes you have characters who are interrupting each other. Let's take a look at what that might look like. Reginald says, fortunately, there hasn't been an incident like that in years. I'd say the only thing we need to, boom, an explosion rips through the building. White phosphor flashes and sizzles. Here we're using two dashes to indicate that he's been stopped. He's been stopped in the middle of talking. So these are, again, two separate dashes. Don't let your computer make that into one long M dash. Screenplay format, again, is expecting two dashes. So two dashes for something that's being cut off, a dialogue that's being abruptly stopped. Now, in this example, it's an action that's stopping him, but sometimes it'll be another character stopping them. So instead of this explosion, let's have another character interrupt here and say, Barish says, you don't know what we need. So here, Reginald was cut off by Barish. Now, that's pretty clear what's happening here, but some cases you might want to add uh, parenthetical that's to say interrupting if it wasn't entirely clear that like Barish really is talking over him and stopping him from speaking that parenthetical could be useful for the actors and for everyone to know what's really happening in the scene now another common situation you're going to encounter is you have characters who are finishing each other's thoughts let's take a look at what that might look like here Gina says then once we gain access to the security subsystem, we can disable the perimeter alarms and walk right in. Genius. So these three dots are indicating that Mary is not really cutting off Gina, but really finishing her thoughts. Now, this could look really hacky and play hacky sometimes in movies. So you have to be careful about it. But if you listen to real people talking in real life, they will do this more often than you think. So done properly, it can work. Now, in some cases, you might decide to throw a parenthetical in here to make it clear the context that this is happening in. So it's not that Gina was trailing off. It's that Mary was cutting to the chase. Again, it's your choice. It's what the scene needs, whether you want that parenthetical there or not. Now, sometimes you have characters who are literally talking at the same time. And there are two ways you might choose to do this in a screenplay dialogue situation. Let's take a look. Here, Miguel says... It's only through collective action that we can demonstrate our power and conviction. Then Aaron says, you just want your face on the news, admit it. So here, that overlapping makes it clear that this is supposed to overlap with what Miguel has been saying. Now, you could do this without that, but here, without that parenthetical, it looks like he's responding to Miguel's full thought. So overlapping could be helpful. Now, another choice you always have is to do dual dialogue, where the characters are just literally talking at the same time. This is what it looks like formatted so that the uh, two blocks of dialogue are happening at the same time. That can be a good choice when really there's two answers. So like one character saying yes, one character saying no. It's good for that joke. It's also good if you have long speeches where Miguel's going to be talking from multiple lines, Aaron's talking from multiple lines. And the point is that they are just going to keep speaking and ignoring what the other character is saying. For this situation, I don't think this really works quite right. So I my choice would probably be overlapping, uh, just make it clear that he's talking over him, but it's not you know, meant to be a long speech that's you know, being interrupted. Now, one last thing to consider is that whenever you have two characters overlapping or cutting each other off, make sure you know what the complete thought would be. What was the other character trying to say before they were cut off? So let's go back to an earlier example. Here we have Reginald and Barish, and they're talking. Uh, what we need to, you don't know what we need. So here, 
Reginald got cut off by Barish, but Reginald had a full thing he was going to say before he was stopped. So sometimes as a writer or as an actor, you want to know what those missing words were. So something you'll see some writers do is to put in brackets what the finished sentence would be so the actor and the writer know what's supposed to be there if the person had finished the whole thought. So maybe focus on redundant backup systems. All right, so here in brackets, it shows what the full thought would be. The intention is still for Bearish to cut him off there at the dashes, but the actor knows what the full line would be and so they could keep plowing through it. An option you have in Highland 2 is you could double bracket this, and that turns it into a note. So this stays with you in your script, but it's not gonna get printed otherwise. So here, if we preview it, that extra text doesn't show up there. So you have it, but it's not gonna show up in the PDF when you export it. So in summary, there are no hard and fast rules about dots, dashes, and parentheticals, but here are some guidelines that should get you through. Use three dots when a character is trailing off. Use two dashes when a character is cut off abruptly. And you may wanna use a parenthetical like overlapping when characters are talking over each other to make it clear what's happening in the scene. Finally, if you want to write in plain text like I'm doing for this demo, you can download Highland 2 on the Mac App Store. It's free, and it's the only app I use for all of my writing. You can find out more about it at highland2.app. Thanks.